M0 FXB, welcome back to my videos on the Radtel 8AT GPS model. I think this will also work with the 98 GPS model made by iRadio. So I'll put a link in where you can download this software. This is the Radtel 880G and it actually will work if you've got the 860G model. Yeah, this little black and white version of the Radtel. So this Radtel, the black and white one, pretty much does the same thing as the nice color one does. Um, but anyway, let me just show you it on the color and then we'll re we'll connect the the black and white one in another video. So, you know, within the Radtel, within the 880, there's a couple of things you need to turn on. One is GPS and another one is called PC monitor. You still need to connect your USB cable, which is USB-C, to your computer. And that's where it's picking up the COM port here. I didn't actually change the board rate. I literally just put the COM port on and it all came to life. And you can see, you know, I've only just started tinkering with this, but we've got a full GPS information coming in there. Look at the blue writing just here. And I've just touched the surface. So let me just quickly show you those settings. Now, unfortunately, you do need the GPS version you do if you haven't got that then it's not going to work so first thing we'll do is we have got a gps lock if we hold down on mine it's six because i i basically set a, uh, a shortcut button yeah um, so if we go into the menu we'll back out you can see there's a gps lock there we'll back out and we'll go menu and go down to the extended settings you do need firmware version 1.06 okay so extended then select and then gps and you need to go gps again and just turn it on okay go down one and turn it on back out then go down i haven't touched the board right i can show it you but i haven't actually touched it go down to pc monitor and all these settings are in the black and white version PC monitor down one on with the green button back out. So that's all you actually need to do on the radio. You don't even have to display the, the GPS. I think I put on a shortcut on six. There it is there. You don't even have to display that. Okay. Um, so let's just see. Now mine is frozen because I've been tinkering with the settings. Um, so let's just move this down. And we're just now just going to click around. Now, I literally connected the cable, right click on your Windows Square, Device Manager. I think I might grab my black and white one and do it all in one video because it, it's, 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 you know, it's quite a lot. So, uh, you, you know, you, you do need a GPS lock. So you might have to go outside. You might have to, I don't know. You need a GPS lock. So, COM ports, um, COM, you can see there, COM3 that we've got close that down and then just up here i literally just dropped down i had to sort of go to disconnect first and then eventually i saw com3 appear and then i didn't actually hit a connect button it just started reading so i was looking around thinking where's the connect button um so you can see you've got some gps glonass info on the top there and bds underneath you've got all our on the left here we've got all our location details there and you can see the radio is, is like so. Remember, this is just one of the many features this radio does. It's shack in the box, yeah? Um, you know, this is, um, sorry about me vanishing. This is a shack in the box device uh, and VHF, UHF, Airband, Marineband, PMR, CB, HF, under a hundred pound. And look what I'm doing right now. It's just fantastic. Uh, I might even do a live on it, it's so good. But anyway, Calm that, I, I literally set nothing else and it all came to life. I, don't, I'm, I just don't even know where to start. So I'm just going to click some stuff here. Uh, and then I'm going to put the black and white one on because I feel like I need to do that. It's a different, let me think. No, I can use the same cable, I believe. Um, so uh, let's just click here. I'm just clicking these tabs at the top. Look at this here. You've got some sort of tracking map going on there. I'm just clicking through. This has appeared. It's not English, but it's appeared. <laughs> okay, actually, no, it's there is English as well as, as as Chinese writing. And so if we just start to tick some of this, more appears. I'm going to tick everything. Why not? 
Yeah, I'm just ticking stuff. And lots of satellites showing up. Let's go across here. We've got the C, is it CNO list? Okay. Um, satellite, let's click that. It said, when I clicked it, it said CNO view. Okay, and you can see all the data coming in here live. Lock, clear, XOR. Um, what's this one? I don't really know what that one is. That one. I'm just clicking through. You know, you've got live information coming through. What's all that? Fixed satellite. Come on, how can this not be fun? NMEA view. Uh, TX data or TDX data, it says. Yeah. And uh, there's no antenna connected to the radio. It's just using its internal GPS antenna and picking up from outside. Uh, I'm just clicking away there. So let me know what you think. Let me grab that other radio. Um, so you can see that it will work on the, I think it's the iRadio is the one I've got with GPS. So I'm literally going to just swap radios, same settings. All right, I've got my other one on there. So we're going to go menu with the round button. Go down to extended. It's all the same titles. Extended functionality. Select. GPS, select. And then select again, make sure it's on, it is. Um, back one with the star, go down. PC monitor, select, and then it's not on, so we're going to turn that on and then back out with the star. There you go. Now I am seeing a G there. So hopefully that will connect soon, but you can see the settings. Um, so we can click back to the beginning. So I did click a lot of things. I think it is receiving. Let me just show you the GPS on the actual device. So a quick way to have GPS info is to set a, a shortcut button, you know. So you just go menu. And same goes for the other set. Key define. Uh, choose a key. So we're going to choose, I don't know. We'll choose number two, okay? Select, and then we're going to choose GPS, select, and then back out with the star. Hold down two. There's the GPS. Yeah, I would say it's not got a lock yet. Now, it will get a lock. I'll leave it for a, a few minutes while it tries to get to get a lock. While we're waiting, look, set, go to the Radtel site. I'll put a link in, and just above where it says RTA80, and below 860, you've got RT and it says 860 GPS module test. So if you click that and then I'll show you the software, I'll probably load it into my Facebook page. And then here it is here, double click. And it's exactly the same. You, you double click just where it says TD monitor. And then there's no password or nothing. and just run anyway let that run and i don't really know why it's struggling to get a gps lock on my black and white one although i did have this working once i remember it just suddenly came to life but look com3 same com com3 and it's the board rate on the radio is actually um oh it's com is being used i just need to just close the other program one second Let's go com3 and then it was 115 on my radio. And again, like I said, I didn't hit any connect. Now, we still haven't got a GPS lock, which is quite annoying. You can see there on my radio, 
Well, it did get one last time. I've turned it on, so I'm not really sure why I'm a bit unlucky. But uh, I remember that it was the iRadio 188 that had the GPS in there. But anyway, you know how to do it. You basically connect this and then tinker around. I hope this helps. Bye for now. If you haven't already, please subscribe. 73 all the